What's up everybody? This is Shane with Moretti Pyrotechnics and Outdoors. So today I'm going to show you how to make a 3 inch display rack. This is a 10 shot rack and it's just a basic build. But this is my third out of five racks. We're going to have uh, 50 shots total. So for the sake of time I pre-cut all the wood. We got the side walls 17 and a half. The bottom 38 and a quarter and the sides 38 and a quarter, 2 by 4, 1 by 4, and 1 by 6s. So let's get rocking here. I'll show you guys how I build a basic 10 shot 3 inch display rack. Okay, so the first thing I like to do is I like to drill yeah, uh, pre-drill holes yeah, me too. so that when you put your screws in, you're not uh, cracking the wood. Yeah, you're not cracking the wood. a couple little basic basic uh, pilot holes I'm gonna do it for both sides and this is the base I'm working on this is the bottom of the rack Douglas My video, not your video. Well, you know what? I gotta get this done, and you keep getting in my way, buddy, okay? So, once again, two more basic pilot holes. Then I wanna take this right here, like this. And I take the two 17 and a half inch sidewall boards, and I just put them up against here, like this. One more here. I'm using drywall screws, it's just easier. The wood screws are more expensive too. Yeah. So just two two inch wood screws on the bottom for the corners. Switch out my bit. There we go. One more on the other side of the board. Yeah. Make sure that your uh, wood's not twisted or anything. You want to try to make sure that this is square right here? Yeah. In the corner, otherwise your tubes are going to have too much slop in the frame itself. It's pretty, pretty good. I never put the boards on the side. I always try to keep them. I always try to keep them on top of the 2x4 because if you have them on the side, then they can blow out from the pressure. So since I keep it up here, I don't have that, that problem. And this is like the 10th rack I've built. Same thing on the other side. And I mean, we're just making three inch display racks. They don't have to be absolutely flawlessly perfect, man. I mean, they're gonna get beat up from the weather and... You wanna also make sure that you don't over drill because then you'll crack your wood. That one cracked just a little bit, but not a big deal. I'll put another extra reinforcement screw in there. Oh, I gotta back that one up. There. 
Not flawless, but good enough. But now because I had that little crack right here, I want to put a reinforcement screw in the middle. A lot of pressure when these three inch shells go off, so. I'm gonna drill a pilot right here. And I'm gonna do it down here too, guys. There's no such thing as too many screws on these racks. I mean, you don't want any overkill, but. Excuse me, bud. But because of the force of the shells going off, you do want some good reinforcement, so. Thank you, buddy. All right, good to go. So, we're working out of my garage. I just bought a new LED light, so it's about as good as it gets. Now, one thing I'm noticing about this rack already is that it's kind of warped a little bit. So I think my wood, my wood's a little buckled. That's okay, I'm not too worried about it. Um, here. So now my next step, what I want to do now is I want to get all the tubes in here and then I just start building right over the tubes. Ralph, do the honors. Okay. Oh. Got my little helper here today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Count them out, buddy. Okay. Nope, you put that one upside down, it's okay. Keep going. Okay, thank you. Flip a couple of these around. Guys, I'll put a link below in the description too. I get all my uh, tubes from uh, from Pyro Boom. You can see that. Can you see that? Pyroboom.com, man. He's an awesome guy. He uh, he sends these these tubes pre-cut and plugged, and uh, they look really clean. They're nice. He does a really good job, and he ships super fast, man. So that's a huge thing for me. Uh, this next week, I got some uh, six inchers coming. So what we're doing is we're getting prepped up for our first public display from Ready Power Technics. We're going to be doing a Christmas show December 4th here in the, in the town I live in. So I'm pretty excited. There's going to be roughly between 500 and 1,000 people there. So I'm pretty excited to show them what we got. So now I'm going to take my 38 and a quarter. This is all untreated pine. This is a 1 by 6. We're going to put that on the bottom. Donkey today. Okay, you don't need any more. Do you, you want it back on? Yeah. Here. You're going to burn this thing. Watch out now. You got a heater right there. Um, so this burn all Okay, guys, and then like before I said, we're going to do the same thing here, especially with the one buys because they crack very easily and they split. But before I do that, I want to make sure my slop isn't too bad. Looks like I got a little bit of slop in here. So I'm gonna want to angle this one in a little bit. Then we're gonna go with the pilot holes again. 
I like to get at least one pilot hole in while I'm holding this in to get rid of that slop. Wrong size, bud. Yeah. Wrong size. Now for the sides I use inch and five eighths drywall screws. For the bottoms I'm using two inch, but for the sides inch and five eighths is good enough. And then I want to get this lined up. There we go. And then I come to the other side and do the same thing. I want to get rid of this. I don't want too much slop in here, but I want enough to where when the shells are going off that there's not no compression there because these tubes do expand and contract. So I want to leave a little bit of slop in here, but I don't want all this slop and there's way too much slop in here right now. So I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to put one screw in and get rid of some of that slop. And I did that on purpose because I do want some slop. Like I said, you don't want a tight rack because then you have a better chance of a tube blowing. So move, 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 buddy. Watch out for the heater. got that slop out of there there's still just a little bit left just enough for the tubes to move around when they're going off <clears throat> now that I'm at where I'm at now I can just go through and start running all my pilots I usually put three screws down here on the bottom three on each side Once again, I want to do those pilot holes, guys. Very important. You will split the wood. Uh, the first rack I did was a prototype, and I had that happen, the wood. I didn't pre-drill my holes, and all the wood split and cracked, and I had to go through and fix it all. So not the funnest thing in the world to deal with. Now when I built my four inch racks, I built two four inch racks with five tubes in it, with spacers. Um, I had to use a, a two by six on the bottom and a two by six on the sides and I had to rip them and I had to pre-drill all the holes because that two by six was so hard as a rock. And you're probably gonna hit other screws down here, you just gotta try to work around that. All right, now we'll put all of our screws in. Get this all zipped down. Like I said, you don't want to over drill because then you're going to split the wood no matter what, even if you have a pilot hole. You just want to get it flush. Just skimmed a screw on that side. Excuse me, bud. Excuse me, bud. All right. So we got the base board done. Now we're going to do the top board, one by four and 38 and a quarter. Same thing, same scenario. So now I'm going to walk around the other side and do, the, do everything all over again. And I usually go with four screws, two and two. I went under. Yeah, you did. So with this one, 
It's a little bit trickier because we have some play up here, but you want to make sure that this board is flush with the top. You're going to have about that much of the tube sticking up on the top, which is perfect. I mean, you can have three, four inches sticking up, but I don't like to have that much sticking up because you want to protect, that's your exit point for the shell, so you want to make sure there's some reinforcement there. And another thing I noticed too that I, I didn't bring home from work, but it's nice to have, uh, it's nice to have some clamps and stuff. It really helps a lot. But we're gonna put two screws here. And then I wanna put them on right away, I don't wanna wait because we want to square out that top side too. The other side I got to go over and I got to square that out, make sure that everything's square. <laughs> like I said guys, this is just, these are racks for fireworks. I mean, they don't have to be absolutely perfect. Nobody's staring at them. You can't even see them if you're a spectator, so it doesn't matter. See, I gotta close this side in quite a bit. So because I did that, I gotta get a screw in right away. So we're off a little bit. Not horribly bad though, but um, I like to try to keep everything as square as possible. Just doesn't always happen, man. I mean, I might be off a sixteenth of an inch on some of my cuts. I pre-cut all my wood outside because I don't have my um, my vacuum sucking system here for my saws. I have my vacuum at work, so but you can hook it up to all my saws and suck all the sawdust out of the wood or out of the air and stuff, but. All right, so we got the top, this side is done. Now we're gonna take it and flip everything over and do the same thing. And that's when things kind of come into light. And then after that, I'll brand the, I will brand the rack and name it rack number four and then put my branding on it. And you, I won't even keep you guys around for that, but um, let's flip this bad boy over. Okay, come on, let's go this way, buddy. All right, watch out, right here. Okay, so now I just wanna lift this up. Take this off like this. It's all right. Then I usually just take all the tubes, put them on top of the rack like this, slide the rack forward, slide them down in. All right. Really good, really good, perfect amount of play in there. All right, here we go. Now we're gonna do the other side. Same scenario, we're gonna drill out the pilot holes. One by six by 38 and a quarter on the bottom. And the two by fours for the three inch display tubes are just about perfect. Um, there's a little bit of uh, warping there because I mean another quarter inch to a half inch would have been nice. We all know that this isn't actually truly right here, four inches. But, I mean, they're always off. You know, they shrink and everything else. And I'm noticing that the sides are just a little bit twisted, but not a big deal again. Because we're still going to get a nice solid rack, I can already tell here. So, same thing here. We want to make sure that we stay nice and square.
I think what I'm going to do this time, I'm going to drill one pilot hole on the bottom just to get a screw in there. There's a little bit of play with the tubes. So that'll at least hold my board in place so it doesn't wobble around too much. Like I said, once you put all these screws in here, there's a little bit of pressure on this. So now we can just start going through and doing our pilot holes now. Try to avoid screwing into knots. If you screw into a knot with a pilot, it'll just, uh, when you put the screw in, it'll, it'll just crack really bad. Excuse me, bud. Watch out. We can just start ripping these in now. Careful not to go too deep. With all the pressure on this rack right now, you will crack your wood. The bottom screw, you might have to stagger it because you might hit some screws on the, uh, from the side, from the bottom. I didn't feel too much bowling, so that's kind of good. All right, we're gonna go to the other side, finish this rack up. I'm gonna show you the finished product, and I'm gonna send you guys on your way. I can you so fast, though. <laughs> Once again, one by four by 38 and a quarter. Boom, slap her on there. <laughs> pilot holes and we're off a little bit like I said this board was a little bit twisted doesn't have to be absolutely perfect I'll do the oh I put three holes on this one that's okay, I think I was gonna do that anyways because it's a little warped, so the board's a little twisted. I usually only put two screws right here, but that's fine guys, you can put three if you want. Uh, we just finally got our Class B license. My brother got his. Um, see, you can see right here. Let me get this moved down over here. See that? A little bit of warping right there. That's totally fine. And you know, we're about an eighth of an inch short. I probably could have possibly have, uh, cut this one short, no big deal. But like I was saying, I'm, I'm uh, applying for my responsible party license while I'm waiting for my ATF license. My wife's gonna be applying for her ATF license and then my brother just got his interview and his license are in the mail. So we are switching over to Class B Professional. We are still going to keep Class C in our shows. But now we're starting to uh, take over all these uh, public displays in this area. We basically want to run this whole area and lock it down. Um, just because this is what we want. We want to do this. So. Two more screws, buddy. Two more screws. Nope, nope, nope. These two, buddy. I got it. All right, here we go. 
Thank you, buddy. There you go, guys. We've got that little bit of slop in there. You know, it's nice to have a little bit of slop so you can take the tubes out, dump them out and clean them. Um, you know, like I said, when one tube goes off, these all get hot and they expand a little bit. Um, some of my other racks are a little bit um, tighter than this one. This one's got a little bit more in it than I wanted, but it's still, it's going to work for me, guys. This is a good rack. There you go. There's the finished product. 38 and a quarter tall. Or, um, actually, it's like 20, 21 tall. 38 and a quarter long, 38 and a half long. Turned out really good. We got no slop going this way, just a little bit of slop going that way, and that's totally good. There you go, guys. How to build a three inch display rack by Moretti Pyrotechnics, man. Boom. Now I'm gonna brand this rack and get it down with the rest of them. And I got one more to build like this for now. And then we're going to, uh, we're gonna be building a, a six inch by three rack. We're only gonna have three tubes in it. And we're gonna light off some ghost shells for our display. So that's it guys. Well, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. So we're gonna aim high to paint the sky, man. Moretti Pyrotechnics, out.